So let's get started. First, I'm gonna add time remap to get a clean cut as soon as the action start. To learn more about time remap, go to the video description for a full tutorial link. Next, I added time remap to the start and end points of the video clip. Then, I'll add a motion tracker to track the hand movements. You'll just need to adjust the track point and click Analyze to begin tracking. Now that the tracking is complete, let's add the magic flame effect. Next add the blending, and select screen to remove the black background. Then apply tracking to the flame effect, and click the apply button. Then I will adjust the position and size of the flame effect to the composition. Now that we've got that set, let's watch a playback. I'm going to add keyframes to the position and scale to achieve accurate tracking. I'll also reduce the size to create the illusion of the flame going out. I also made some adjustments with the keyframes to stabilize tracking. Then enabled the motion blur effect to add realistic motion movement and tweaked some settings. Next I'm going to head to the Fill property and add a Lens Flare effect. To make it transparent, I also added Blending and applied the Screen mode. I tweaked the Lens Flare properties to get the right amount of light to the flare. I then added keyframes to the position and scale to track the flame effect. And here's the playback review. So 
So let's adjust the size of the glint to blend with the background. And change the lens flare color to match the flame color. Next, I added the glow effect, increased the intensity, and changed the color to match the flame color. Lastly, I added the heat wave effect to add some motion flow to the lens flare effect. So next, I added a shape layer to create an artificial reflection. Let's start by adjusting the layer to match the effect length. Now, let's adjust the size and match the color to the flame color. Then, add blending to get it all set. Follow these simple steps as I blend the layer to the foreground. Next, we're going to copy the tracking data to preset and then add motion tracker. Now, paste the saved preset and select the shape layer to overwrite the tracking. Now, go back and adjust the shape position to set the tracking in motion. So, it looks like the lens flare is in the wrong position. To fix this, I'm going to head to the heat wave property and adjust the intensity of the effect. So now that we're done adjusting the layers, here's a playback review. Next, I'll duplicate the shape to add more lighting. Again, I duplicate the layer to create a second reflection. Then I select the pen tool and draw out the areas where I'll add the reflection. I also adjusted the blur values to blend the shape edges with the foreground. Now that we have a nice looking reflection, I'm going to add keyframes to the pen tool to track the talent's movement. Now that we've got that all set, let's add the heat wave effect to add some motion to the reflection. Next, I'll add an adjustment layer and trim it to match the effect length. Then I'll head to the effect store and grab the ripple effect. I'll adjust the intensity to my liking. And add some keyframes to the evolution option.
And finally, I'll tweak the wave option to get the look just right. Let's add an additional layer to increase the flame impact. I'll trim it and adjust the layer to match the start point of the effect. So now, let's add the shake effect and tweak the settings to get the right shake amount. You can follow the same process to get the same result. I'll also duplicate the adjustment layer and move it to the end of the effect. Now that we've got all that said, watch the final playback. So if you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.